Welcome back to Donnie Boy 73 the small engine doctor. Today I'm going to show you the linkage configuration on the older 5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engines. So here's the engine I'm talking about. It's the 5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton motor with the fuel tank right at the back of it right there. Now I just replaced the fuel tank on this one because it was rusted so bad inside and I thought this is the good time to show you guys the linkage configuration from the throttle cable all the way down to the governor and the linkages on the carburetor. Now this carburetor here has the choke right here on the side and you can see the linkage from the choke goes from the lever right here right to this plastic part at the back here. It's just hooked in there. And when you move the choke lever it just shuts it or opens it. Now I'm going to remove the choke lever here just to show you a better view inside of all the linkages. For that all I have to do is remove the two torch screws here. This is going to come off we'll get a better view. Now with the choke lever on the side like that we can focus on the rest of the linkages. There's the throttle cable hooks up right in here and here's a rear view of it. There's the throttle cable it's got a z-bend in it it goes in there. Now there's another linkage that is hooked up right above the throttle cable and here's a view from the other side of the engine. As you can see the linkage is in there it goes to another mechanism over here, it's on the top hole. Now if you look over here where my pick is, you can see a nylon part that is attached to this whole mechanism. It's got a linkage that goes through it as well, it's just popped in there. And here's what I mean by that, it just pops right in there. To show you a better view of where that linkage goes, I'm going to remove the two bolts that hold the carburetor over here, loosen it, and show you. Now let's continue to follow the linkage now that the fuel tank is removed. There it is here. You're going to see that it hooks up to this mechanism down here underneath the fuel tank. Now let's go at the top of the carburetor again. There's another linkage from where the throttle butterfly mechanism is here. It's hooked in right there. As you can see it goes in and bends back that way. It goes to this mechanism here which is made of plastic. This part here is held by this bolt, it just swivels on the bolt. Now from this plastic part here, there's another linkage that is hooked up to it right here. That linkage there follows all the way down in front of the fuel tank there. Now you're going to see that that linkage here goes all the way down to the governor arm down there. And here's a view from the other side. So it hooks up right down there. Now you'll notice a little spring here that's hooked up to this part of the mechanism here. It hooks in this way with the fat part of the spring onto the fuel tank. Now we have to connect this other end of the spring here onto the governor system on the engine. And it connects right onto here. Now you want the spring to be connected this way so it slides up and down this clip here because when you throttle up and down it's going to swivel with it. So you put it in like this. Once you've got it clipped in like this, reinstall your fuel tank and make sure it doesn't come off this clip. So here's one last quick view of how it's hooked up toward the engine. This connects to this mechanism. Spring over here to the governor arm. Then the other linkage here from the governor arm goes up to the carburetor. Now I've got the choke cleaver reinstalled. Here's one last look of all that. One goes over here and again the choke cleaver linkage goes to the back here. And here's what happens when you throttle up. Everything should move like that. A good thing to do once in a while is spray some liquid wrench on all the linkages of your carburetor. So now I'll give it a quick start just to show you guys that it runs good with this configuration. So this is the linkage configuration for your Briggs & Stratton 5 horsepower engine. If you get a lot of surging up and down after everything is clean and good, you may want to unscrew the adjusting screw here 
to about a turn and a half to two turns out. That should stop it from surging. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and tell all your friends about my videos. Thanks a lot.